good shot. Edge gone. Oh, that's got to be out. Beautifully bowled by Bates. Adelaide Strikers lost a home semi-final last year, so I think they're still hurting a little bit from that. Recruited well. They've got a reasonably well-balanced team between some young up-and-coming Australian players and some overseas international superstars. So they'll be looking to go one further this year. Key player, I think most people would look at their list and straight away the name that sort of stands out is Sophie Devine with her all-round capabilities. One of the longest hitters of a ball in international cricket, but also offers so much with the ball with her pace. Bowls a really heavy ball, can get onto batters really, really quickly as well. So with both the bat and the ball, she'll be one to look out for. Players to watch, I'm going with the homegrown here. Talia McGrath has played a couple of games for Australia. Suffered a little bit with injury over the last 18 months or so. Back in the Australian A-team recently and showing a lot of promise both with bat and ball, so she's one to look out for. Great pickup, Danielle Hazel from England, one of the world's best T20 bowlers. Bowls fantastic off spin, can get the ball to really turn and a bit of bounce. Got a lot of game smarts and they'll be looking to her just to be one of the leaders, I think, with the ball. That's a good piece of ball. Sarah Coit had a, a break from cricket, went away and has come back, played a couple of games for the Sydney Sixers and just picked up things where she left off with the Australian team. Now with the Strikers and I think she's going to bring an element of enjoyment about playing the game to the Strikers which could make a real difference. For the Strikers, it's consistency. They've shown wonderful abilities to control games for the majority of the time, but just haven't ticked things over. So if they can make sure that they can control all the key facets of the game, I think they'll be looking for finals. Can the Strikers win it all? Yeah, they certainly can. They've certainly shown enough in previous years, and I think they've just improved a little bit with their squad list, and a lot of the younger players have settled into WBBL now, so I think those players will play a key role. But yes, they can certainly win it all. That is...